I don't really want to see him or be here, but I have to. Who has this woman so scared? Well, you're incredibly strong and brave, facing down the man. I have to do this for my kids. I have to. She's about to look into the eyes of the man who wanted her dead, a man who's no stranger, an officer who turned out to be the furthest thing from a gentleman. Chadwick Jesquire was working as a DJ at a Toledo, Ohio bar when he seemed to set his sights on a girl, a girl named Catherine. He asked me out many times, can I buy you a drink? Can I take you out to dinner? And I said no. She said no a lot. Then eventually she said yes. What attracted you to Chad? Chad was funny. He was always goofing around. He could always make you laugh if you were sad. Chadwick and Catherine quickly went from a new couple to a new family. We started dating, and within three months of dating, I got pregnant with my son. Catherine, who already had a son from a previous relationship, laid down the law. I gave him the ultimatum. I said, we're having this baby. You join the military or go back to college. I really didn't think he'd join the military, but he did. Chadwick enlisted in the Navy and was sent off to boot camp in Florida. Three months later, Catherine and Chad married but continued to live apart. We Skyped and we talked, but we honestly never lived together married until my son was about three months old. And once they moved in together in Virginia, the joy of being newlyweds and new parents quickly faded. When you started living with Chad, what changed? I don't know if the military changed him or it, that's just how he was. Um, he was very into man does this, woman does this. We had our different roles. And those different roles meant Catherine alone cared for their son. He smiled, pick him up, hug him, you know, but he didn't play with him. He didn't spend time with him. Over time, the relationship became a sinking ship. When did you realize the marriage was going sour? Uh, when I found out of the abuse of my older son. The abuse of your older son? Yes. While I was at work, he was making him stand in the corner for hours and hours on end, uh, making him dig holes. When I found out that he was abusing my son and Children's Services was involved. That was a turning point. Catherine says they tried counseling, but behaviors didn't change. I found out that he started, you know, back at my son again, apparently, making him scrub the toilets with toothbrushes just for not doing his homework on time. I got scared and I said, it's enough. After three years of marriage, Catherine walked out. I took the boys to a hotel and he locked me out of the house and wouldn't let me back in and wouldn't let me get in to get my kid children's medications, clothing, nothing. And that's when I went and filed for divorce. And you know what Chadwick's reaction was when he found out? Oh, I got called every name in the book. When women don't leave him, he leaves women. Chadwick's chilling words would later come back to haunt Catherine in the most murderous of ways. In the meantime, though, Catherine says in an attempt to gain custody of their son, Chadwick was focused on making her look like an unfit mother. He makes a lot of serious allegations against you. Yes. That you were, you were getting drunk and not feeding your son, that your son had um, burn marks on him from, from cigarettes. Just to be clear, because you know these, are, these uh, allegations are out there, you didn't have a drinking problem and neglect your son? No, never. After many months and many rounds in court, custody of their son was finally decided. Catherine and Chadwick would share their boy, 50-50. What was your relationship like with Chadwick during this time period? We didn't speak or he was very, very nasty. I always took someone with me to drop and pick up the kids. So it seemed like nasty would continue to be the new normal for them. Not entirely uncommon when it comes to breakups. But as Catherine was trying to move on and live her life, Chadwick was doing the opposite. He was hatching a plan to end it. Coming up, a murder for hire plot straight out of the movies. All of it caught on hidden video. She's dead, dead, like 60 other dead, tomorrow or Thursday.